Hello everyone, we're finally doing it. This is the banana video. I am super excited to be talking all about banana scents in all different types of categories. I've had this video on my to-do list for a while and I'm just excited to get it done right before the end of summer. Not that it matters, you can be into banana at any time of the year, do your thing, you know? But specifically this year, I have been very intrigued and kind of fascinated by the note of banana in perfume, in body care. I've really gravitated to it and I find it funny because I'm not so Someone who's like loved banana throughout my life in terms of smell or the taste or like the artificial taste which is its own thing like a banana runs a banana laffy taffy type of thing in the past that's not really been my thing but something about this summer I was craving it I really enjoyed it so I thought I would talk about the good the bad everything banana that's in my collection we have just some fun things here as well and uh, I hope you guys will enjoy I'll leave all the other videos I've done note specific down below I think on this channel it's just cotton candy at the moment but if you have a specific note you want me to cover in the future please let me know down below but let's get into banana we're gonna start with straight up fragrances and one of my favorites I'm just gonna start with favorites too this is vacations vacation scent and this brand does a lot of like sun care products and this is the scent of their sunscreens mm, I've been wearing this all summer this just makes me feel like I am oiled up by the pool ready to just enjoy the day Day. You know, it could be a relaxing day, but because this is such a just fun scent, it's a very fun, beachy, yet banana and kind of fruity sunscreen scent. I don't just think of relaxing by the pool when I smell this. I think of like, you could be doing the water park. You could be going on the banana boat. <laughs> you could be parasailing like, mm, it is so good. And although this is the same scent as their sunscreen, I highly recommend it. I really love that sunscreen. This is the more perfumey version of it. And so I love layering them together but alone this also just smells so good it's nostalgic in a way there's some fun notes in here along with the banana there's some coconut milk but there's also some things like fabric and a plastic note and although I can't quite exactly pick those out it does have this kind of nostalgic and almost like a retro fun, fruity, sweet, banana and tropical sunscreen smell to it. It's really good, highly suggest. I feel like for the summer, I've made a decent dent in this one and I highly recommend it if you're looking for banana. This isn't only banana, but the banana definitely shines in here and it doesn't get lost in the mix, even though there's a lot of other notes going on. Another super fun one, and I feel like one that a lot of people know if you're into banana, this is kind of the first place I feel like people start. This is Comptoir Sud Pacifique's Vini Banane and this is banana. The top of this, the very opening of this is straight up just fruity, sweet, creamy banana. It is such a fun perfume. Really love this one. I think you kind of have to like a little bit of that runt smell, like banana runts to like this, but this also has a lot of milkiness to it. It has whipped cream in here. There's rum in here. Again, the banana. There's also banana leaf. I don't pick up on much of that. It's very much in line with a lot of Comptoir Sud Pacific stuff. They do a lot of vanillas, a lot of very sweet perfumes, and it definitely has that DNA of the house with that banana in the opening. As this dries down, you really just get kind of a really sweet, kind of sugary, milky, creamy vanilla that can be a little bit much, but that opening with the banana is so fun. Definitely, I feel like almost a novelty perfume in my eyes, but if you love banana, it is a fun one. Smelling this just makes me happy, but even right now, I feel like the banana has kind of died away. So I get a little bit more lasting power of the banana in here, but it's not milky to me. This is vanillic, milky, sweet, and has that banana in it. These are just such fun ones. Definitely some of my top two picks if you're looking for banana forward perfumes. This perfume from Ganache, I was really excited to try. It's called Banana Milk, and I haven't had this long. I wanted to buy this for the video and also because I wanted to smell it. And although this is called Banana Milk, I feel like the Comptoir Sud Pacifique one is a little bit more milky, actually lactonic to me. This has a warmth to it. There's something kind of spicy going on in here. Not like actual spices, but I almost get something a little bit more like banana bread 
from this, which is kind of interesting. Again, I expected a little bit more lactonic and like creaminess, but I get like a warm baked banana bread kind of smell from this. Very heavy banana for sure, but it kind of goes into something lightly cinnamon, not super spicy cinnamon, just kind of there. And again, there's just something about it that has almost like a warm baked good smell to it as well. Very fun. This is pretty affordable as well. It was $25. I'm not going to lie. The bottle could be a little bit nicer to me, but for $25, $25 can't complain too much and they definitely have some fun scents over at ganache I want to try a few others. Let me know if you've tried a lot from this house what you like They do a lot of gourmand So if you're into that, I feel like this is a house to check out I can find this exact perfume on Fragrantica, but notes on this banana puree vanilla pod coconut sorbet Sweet milk white rum patchouli white amber and I don't know if it's the patchouli coming out But like I said, this definitely has a different vibe to vanilla banana, which I would think they'd be more similar especially looking at the notes and seeing those milky accords and all that but I do find them quite different actually although they are both very banana forward the next scent that I have here is from Le Monde Gourmand this is Bon Bon Banan not sure if you can get this still their scents are kind of hit or miss and they do a lot of limited edition stuff but you can also find them pretty affordable they're only $25 a piece which is pretty good but they also go to discounters and stuff like that this has a banana leaf in it so the notes on this are banana leaf coconut and sandalwood and I feel like I don't know if I'm disappointed but I really wanted this to be a little bit more strong in that banana because of the name the juice all of it they tend to do a lot of fun gourmand scents and I was hoping for a little bit more of that novelty factor to me banana just is novelty <laughs> like a banana scent is novelty but this is a little more subdued if you're looking for something that has a little bit of that banana to it some sweetness it smells a little tropical but kind of smells like a hair product these perfumes tend to not have a ton of longevity so you're not going to get something overly powerful overly strong um, or overly offensive banana is definitely not for everyone you know um, this might be something to check out but if you're looking for that really strong punch of banana I would go with the first two perfumes that I mentioned but I wanted to put it in here because it is a banana scent. Last for full size banana fragrances that I own, this one is from Bath and Body Works and this one is Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. This doesn't have technically banana, the fruit, but it has banana flower in here and I do think you get that kind of tropical essence coming from that. So notes, passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. You definitely get a lot of the pineapple in this scent. That is more overpowering, I feel like, than the banana flower in here. But like I said, you get that kind of tropical blend of all of the passion fruit, the banana flower, and the pineapple in here. And I think it's a good one to check out if you don't want something overtly banana, but you want something with a little bit of that vibe. This also does come in a shower gel, so you can kind of pair them up. And I'm thinking right now it would be great to mix with the vanilla banana. I think those would be really nice to pair together. It would add some more vanilla, some more milkiness to this, where this has a little bit more of a fresher, fruitier smell. Moving on to some samples that I have here. I don't have have these in full bottles but these are some more banana perfumes a newer one that came out this year this is from Navitas in collaboration with AI the Great this is Ambrosia Imperial. This is not novelty banana. To me, this is banana done in a way that I feel like is the most, I don't want to say grown you could do, but again, I feel like banana just comes off playful and it comes off a little bit whimsical in a way. And I feel like this is doing banana, um, but it's also giving something sexy and grown and mature and like a true like perfume perfume, if you know what I'm saying. Mm, to me, I put this in the same category as Minuit et Demi, that is a, a gourmand fragrance, but it doesn't smell foody. And I kind of feel like that's how this is. It has a lot of food notes. There's whipped cream in here, I definitely get that. There's banana, there's rum, caramel, vanilla, there's some saffron, like there are so many beautiful notes in here. And for all those food notes, you would think this would smell more specifically like a food, but it isn't. And that's why it reminds me of Minuit et Demi. Not that they smell similar, but the way that they do those notes, they elevate them in a way that it doesn't smell like you just smell like banana. <laughs> you know, you don't just smell like caramel banana. It's in there, you get that, but there is a perfuminess to it. There's a sexiness to it. There's something, again, kind of grown to this fragrance. Definitely one to check out if you're looking for a take on banana that I feel is very 
very unique from everything here and still really great. I really think that Ambrosia Imperial was really well done. So um, definitely one to check out. It's not cheap by any means. This is an expensive perfume, but I would get a sample. I think I got mine off of Etsy. I would have bought it from the brand, but I feel like I couldn't find one on Navitas. I'm pretty sure. This is definitely one to check out if you're into banana, but you want something more elevated. That's what I feel like this is. Next is from Larson Perfumer. Oh, I'm so sorry. My tongue is so clunky. This is Banna Banana and I really quite like this one as well. I haven't gone for the full bottle yet. This definitely has banana in it, but it's more floral, a little bit more green, um, not as sweet as a lot of the other bananas here. So if you're looking for something that doesn't go too, too sweet, it doesn't go too candy-like, too vanilla, I think this is a better option. There's just a freshness about this while still having the banana. It still has some sweetness, don't get me wrong, but it does feel a lot more fresh than the bananas I've been mentioning. This technically has banana flower in it, so it's not the banana fruit, and I feel like you get that floral. There's also a strong amber note in here that comes off a little bit powdery as well, but I feel like it grounds the fragrance nicely. I think this is a nice one. I think I prefer a little bit more of a sweet, fun take. Not that this isn't fun, but again, I do feel like this one's a little bit more reserved, a little less sweet, a little more floral, and if that's your style and you're wanting to try something with a banana twist, this would be a good one to check out. Okay, you guys, last year for perfumes that actually have a banana note. <laughs> okay, this one is novelty in a different way. This is Night Flyer from Olympic Orchids, and I got to sample this through Olfactif, um, and do not blind by this, okay? <laughs> do not blind by this, okay? So this is called Night Flyer. It's inspired by bats, and let me just read off some of the notes to you. Earthy notes, mineral notes, banana, tropical fruits, fig, musk, resins, leather, vetiver, olibanum, and sandalwood. But let me tell you, overwhelmingly what I get from this fragrance is the earthy notes and the mineral notes. This smells like really rich black moist soil. Um, I can almost like picture my fingernails like dirty, like underneath my fingernails having dirt in them because of this smell. Very, very strong earthiness from this, okay? I know it says banana. I know it says fig. I know it says tropical fruits. And I'm sure they're in there. I'm sure if this were just earthy notes, this would be a lot more maybe even savory smelling or not have that tinge of sweetness going on. But if you're looking for banana, it's, it's definitely hidden in there. It's hidden in there pretty deep. So I wanted to include this because I had a sample of it, but also because it has a banana note in it. And if you're looking at Fragrantica, like I like to do, I love searching my note over there and just like seeing the what's out there, just like exploring. It's like one of the funnest things to do, honestly. This definitely is interesting and unique and has perspective and I love that, but man, it is earthy. So just be warned, <laughs> know what you're getting into. If you're looking for a sample of this, I'll leave olfactory teeth down below. I'm sure you can buy a sample from them. It's a fun one, but it is just very earthy. Very, 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 very earthy. <laughs> I don't think many people would find that very wearable at all, but it's definitely a fun one. And it's those types of perfumes that I find just so fun. I love exploring those and getting little samples of them. And to me, this is like the artistry that comes with perfume. Sometimes it's not something you want to wear, but it does take you somewhere with the scent. It does give you like visions of where you are, what what's happening and I absolutely love that. So wanted to include it, although don't get me wrong, okay? If you're truly looking for banana, I would steer clear of this overall, but had to include it. Okay, now I wanna include two perfumes that do not have banana in them at all, but I get something banana-y from them. There's something about them. I don't know what it is because it doesn't make any freaking sense with the notes, but you know, some things are woody, but you get pickle juice. We all smell different. So I thought I would include them because I feel like they're in the spirit of the video. So first I wanted to mention this fragrance from Wakeheart. This is called Prism. This is a very musky scent, but there's something about this. I don't know if it's the mix of the pear and the magnolia. There's also an ice note in here, but I get a fruitiness from this, but the fruitiness I get, it always takes on a banana-esque quality, always to me. I don't know why, it doesn't smell like pear to me, um, and I feel like I can pick up pear in a lot of stuff. This is very clean, it's very fresh. I love the way the musk is done in this. It's almost kind of showery or shampoo-y. It smells maybe like a hair product, but in a really nice, nice way. Um, but there's something about the fruitiness that's in here that it really does give me like banana vibes. It's like a phantom banana in here with some musk. It's really, really nice. And every time I smell this, I always am like, man, kind of smells like 
like banana. I'm surprised there's not like a tuberose or something in here that's like, instead of going bubble gummy is going banana, but I don't know if it's the magnolia. There's some juniper berries in here as well. There's some vanilla and some oak moss. So those are the notes. I don't know why I get banana from this, but definitely some light, airy, musky, fruity banana in here. The other fragrance is a little bit newer to me. This is Fugazi's Sugar Daddy. And for my husband, every time I spray this, cause we'll test each other on scents. That's what we do for fun. But every time I spray this, he always goes, ooh, banana. But it's not banana. There's no banana in here, but I kind of get what he means. There's something just so playful, fruity, and fun in this fragrance that if you don't see the notes, I wouldn't be surprised if someone was like trying to guess a fruit and guess banana. The actual fruits that are in here are tangerine, black currant, there's also some bergamot, but then there's some spiciness in here. This also gives off in a totally different way. There's honestly like one way of smelling it, which is like banana, but then it also kind of smells a little bit holiday, but still again, really fun and festive because of the fruitiness of it. I could almost get like a pine tree that's really quite sweet though, with the spices of nutmeg and cloves, which again, make it feel very much like like a holiday fragrance. It's really sweet and again, playful in the way that I find banana to be in a lot of other fragrances, but it's not banana. So, you know, again, that's just what I get from it, but I wanted to include it in here because there's something reminiscent of banana in this fragrance. The next section I wanna talk about are candles. There've been quite a few banana candles this year, which has also really ignited my desire for banana. So this from Boy Smells, this is the banana pudding scent. This is in collaboration with Magnolia Bakery and this is limited edition. This scent I feel like is complicated for me. In some ways when I smell this, I really love it. It really does smell like banana pudding. Um, it's not overly sweet. It has something bakery-esque about it. I love that it's not overly sweet. It's very kind of realistic. Um, and so I get that sometimes and I love that. But then other times when I burn this, I get a lot of like burnt hair, burnt tire, I get almost a stinkiness from this that is kind of bizarre and unexpected for me. So I get a little bit of both. I really love Boy Smells overall. I think they do some fun scents. They definitely have their own perspective, which I really like. And I think they brought this to this candle. I just, if you're looking for just like a Bath and Body Works version of some type of banana pudding. That's not what you're gonna get here. So I just wanna warn you guys, this is not a cheap candle by any means, but it was fun to get. I don't know if I would necessarily like run out and repurchase it. I'm not stocking it up because it's limited edition, but I am enjoying this candle for what it is. And it's one to check out. I think they sell this at Bloomingdale's. I know if you have like a scent bar near you, you can smell it in there. I'd give it a smell when you're in store and I would love to know what you think about this. If you've smelled it, you get kind of the banana pudding in some ways and then <laughs> sometimes get something a little bit more uh, maybe even savory or again, it's almost always something burning. Like I almost always get like a burnt hair, sometimes even almost a rubberiness. Um, let me know if you get that too. <laughs> let me know down below. If you're looking for a banana candle that is a little bit more that traditional like sunscreeny banana, I think this one from Wary Meyer is a good choice. This is also like a DIY candle. I made a video on Instagram putting all the stickers on. You could choose to just put one on. I went, you know, absolutely bananas if you will and put them everywhere. But this to me is more like the vacation scent, um, but in a candle form and maybe a little less sweet. I don't feel like the scent throw on either of these is like intense. I mean, this is quite a small candle, so I wish it was a little bit stronger to be honest. Again, this is not a cheap candle, but definitely a fun one. And I do think both of these candles, these more expensive ones, do banana in a more kind of refined way, which I kind of expect from a more expensive brand that it's not just gonna smell like a banana oil or something. Definitely a fun one for summer. The last candle that I have here though, this is from Bath & Body Works. This is Banana Walnut Muffin. Uh, it has notes of sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin. This is very bready, very foody, very Bath & Body Works, very in your face. I get a lot of the cinnamon muffin. I get a lot of the nutmeg. Uh, again, it really does smell like a bakery. And then you would just believe that it's a banana muffin. You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like the banana isn't super strong in here, but it's there. And overall, it's more giving that warm, cozy, 
bakery kind of vibe. Very nice. I've really enjoyed burning this. I would love to see Bath and Body Works do a more banana forward scent. I think that would be so fun, very novel again, and I would love to pick that up. But this one is definitely nice as well. And I think a lot of people would like it, especially if you like those bakery scents. I'm not sure if that's available still because Bath and Body Works does seasonal scents, but I could see myself repurchasing that one at some point. All right, we're in the last category here. This is banana body care. And I think this is one of my favorite sections. Like I mentioned, the Bath and Body Works Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower. Again, the notes on this are passion fruit, pineapple leaves, banana flower in here. So I think it's really nice to pair your shower gel with your body mist. So I just have both of them here and I wanted to mention. This next item is like my absolute favorite I don't want to say my favorite, but one of my favorite banana items in here, the Hemp's Sugared Banana and Vanilla Blossom. This is, I want this in a body mist. I want this in a perfume. I want this in a candle. This is sugary, fun banana, but there is a muskiness to this that I feel like makes it not so childish or so I mean it's pretty over the top but it grounds it just enough that I want to spray this everywhere it smells so good to me I absolutely love it highly highly recommend this I think there's a body cream as well this definitely gives that kind of fake banana but again in the best way I am telling you I'm not necessarily someone who's always loved that fake banana scent but this one is just so fun in the shower I really wish they had a fragrance for this I really really wish they did um Highly, highly recommend this if you're looking for a banana. Such a fun one in the shower. Hemp's also does have another banana line and it's like banana flower or something. I had the scrub. I've actually used it all the way up and I'll put a picture of it up here cause I already threw it out. I did an empties and talked about it in there if you caught that video, but I like that banana scent. It's pretty good. It's more floral though. It's not nearly as sweet as the sugared banana. This one I prefer to that one, but they, they paired nicely. I think that one also has its own either body cream or maybe even a shower gel that goes with it as well but I don't love the scrubs in that container from Hemp's because you just don't get a lot of product for the price the scrub itself is really nice again I like that banana scent quite a bit even though it's not as sweet and candy like but I went through it so fast I went through that scrub like so so fast but that is another banana thing out there if you really want to try it or you want something again that's a little bit more floral I feel like that's a pretty good option and then last I'm gonna leave it off with this banana hand cream look how cute this is <laughs> This is from Tony Moly and it is the Magic Food Banana Hand Milk. And this is just a fun, again, like novelty item to have in your purse. Oh man, <laughs> do you like my banana look today? Can you tell I was using my hand as a palette? Anyway, I have a short on this too on Instagram, but it's just a hand cream. It's a nice hand cream. I mean, not my favorite ever, but it smells like banana. It hydrates your hands. It's in the cutest bottle ever. And for $10, I think it is, I think it's totally worth it. And it smells so good. This is again, that really fun banana. It's exactly what you expect this to smell like. It smells like it delivers <laughs> so that's my banana video i hope you guys enjoyed i'd love to know what banana scents or products are out there that i should try that i didn't mention here what are your favorites do you have any of these what do you think of these products that i've mentioned i'd love to know i was hoping we get a few more banana launches this year but um it didn't seem to be as trending actually as it was in my mind <laughs> so um hopefully next year next summer i'm hoping we'll get some more banana scents but hope you enjoyed the video thank you so so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.